So last time, or in a prior presentation, we entered purchase orders. Now we're gonna be going in and uh, receiving the inventory from the purchase order, the request form. Quick recap on the process. Looking at a flowchart, the purchase order is part of the vendor cycle or expense or purchasing cycle where at the end of the day, we expect money to come out of the checking account for the purchase of goods and services. In this case, specifically, for the purchase of inventory. So we've got inventory turned on, we're tracking inventory on a perpetual method. The purchase order is a request for inventory, no impact on the actual financial statements from it because we have not actually received the inventory and we have not paid for it, which is a little bit different than you might expect if you've never dealt with a purchase order and uh, you just make payments for stuff online, for example, from Amazon, where you pay at the point that you make the request. Here, no payment has been made, no financial transaction, but we need to track it so that when we do pay it, we can then uh, record the information from the purchase order on either a bill type of form or a check or expense type of form. So we are imagining now that the guitars, the inventory that we purchased is now getting shipped to us. We're gonna open up the box that has our inventory, the guitars in it, along with a bill. Note that the bill that we open might say invoice on it because the person that we purchased from, the vendor, to us, if they're using QuickBooks, would be invoicing us. So we can use bill, invoice interchangeably outside of QuickBooks, inside of QuickBooks. We have to think about how we're gonna deal with that bill uh, or invoice. Are we gonna enter it into the system with a bill or we can just pay the bill or invoice with a check form? We paid the bill or invoice with a check form in the prior month. Now we're gonna enter the bill as a bill into the system. Remember, those things are really different. The physical bill is not the same, does not mean necessarily that we're gonna enter a bill form into the system because we could just pay it with a check form or an expense form. But this time we are gonna do the bill and we're gonna enter the bill into the system which will increase the inventory dollar amount in units, increase accounts payable. 